In-depth sports coverage from The Athletic is now just £1 a month with an introductory offer. See the link in the description to sign up. Since Mikel Arteta took charge at Arsenal, the comparisons with Pep Guardiola have been as constant as they have been inevitable. Now, of course, there are similarities between the two men. They are both sharp thinkers and sharp dressers. They share an intensity, a magnetic charisma that makes them natural leaders. They are both products of the Barcelona system and their teams share certain key tactical points. They both attack in five channels and frequently defend in five channels too. Arteta has recently made use of a back three, and Guardiola deployed a similar system in his early days at Manchester City, and has returned to it several times, most recently for the Champions League tie against Lyon. But there is a clue as to how the two men differ, in the role Arteta assumed while working at City. With Guardiola looking after the big picture, Arteta was charged principally with working with individual players, improving Raheem Sterling's movement, Fabian Delft's positioning, or Leroy Sana's end product. And so it was, Guardiola the idologue, Arteta the problem solver. Guardiola's brilliance of course speaks for itself, but his rapid ascension through the coaching ranks means that he never served as an assistant. He's always had to consider the next game, the grand plan, the vision. Arteta has had the freedom and opportunity to focus on the micro details. People always ask me about training under Pep, Sane once marveled, but the things I've learned are from Mikel Arteta. Asked about his then assistant in September 2019, Guardiola told The Telegraph that Arteta has an incredible work ethic, and he has a special talent to analyse what happens and find the solutions. And find solutions is precisely what he's done in his short time at Arsenal. And it should also be no great surprise that there are differences between Arteta and Guardiola, given the contrast in their playing careers. Although Arteta followed Guardiola through Barcelona's La Masia, he never broke into the first team and instead would make his name in, at first, Scotland and then England. And it left him with a deep appreciation for British football and a first-hand understanding of its physicality. Perhaps that has played into his choice of a defensive midfielder. In the summer of 2018, when Manchester City were seeking a new holding midfield player, their primary targets were Jorginho and Frankie de Jong. The aim was to acquire someone even more adept on the ball than Fernandinho, to further emphasise City's strength in possession. Over the course of the next 12 months, those top targets joined Chelsea and Barcelona respectively. Ultimately, City and Guardiola went for Rodri, a player who is better at resisting the press than instigating it. Guardiola's focus was resolutely on what his team would be capable of in possession. Thomas Partey, meanwhile, is a more natural defender. In Rodri's final season at Atletico, he was averaging 56.7 passes per game with a pass completion rate of 91.1%. In 2019-20's Atletico side, Partey averaged 46.8 passes per game with a success rate of 83.4%. Although Arteta maintained an interest in Jorginho, Partey was first choice to play at the base of Arsenal's midfield as much because of what he does off the ball as on it. There's a stylistic difference between these two players that illustrates Arteta and Guardiola's diverging attitudes to the physical nature of the Premier League. For his part, Arteta has been clear in the past about his preferred way to play. In his final season as a player, Arsenal's club official website asked him how a Mikel Arteta team might one day line up. My philosophy will be clear, Arteta said. I want the football to be expressive, entertaining. I cannot have a concept of football where everything is based on the opposition. And it's difficult to argue that's a vision we've yet to see realised at the Emirates Stadium. Understandably so. Arteta inherited a team in 10th position. Most of his landmark victories have come in a relatively deep block, playing on the counter-attack. And at the back end of last season, Arteta's Arsenal beat Liverpool, Manchester City and Chelsea in quick succession, all while never having more than 40% possession. Guardiola has never taken charge of a team languishing in mid-table. The problems Arteta has faced and the pragmatism required to work through them would be new to him. As Arteta put it in September, ahead of the match against Liverpool at Anfield, sometimes it's what you want to do as a coach and sometimes it's what you're allowed to do with the levels of players and performance that top teams can do against you. But Arteta has nevertheless sought to instill some fundamentals. In fact, one difference between the way the two teams play is that Arteta's Arsenal seem even more wedded to playing out from the back than Guardiola's City. It's early days in the 2021 Premier League season, but Arsenal currently have 32% of their possession inside their own defensive third. 
City have just 17%. And the numbers bear out over the previous campaign too. Of course, there are multiple reasons for this. The first is that Arteta is still in the process of implementing playing out from the back. By enforcing it, he's attempting to make it second nature for his players. He's creating habits. Guardiola's City are not always consistent in applying this short passing strategy. In their title-winning campaigns of 2017-18 and 2018-19, City occasionally took advantage of the fact that players cannot be offside at goal kicks by deliberately positioning their front three behind the opposition defence. With Edison's superb long passing and astonishing 80-yard range, he was frequently able to find them. The tactic served various purposes, enabling City to stretch the play, bypass the opposition press and sometimes even create scoring chances. The divergence in strategy is also explained by the fact that the two teams are at different points in their development. City's evolution provides evidence that if you become good enough at playing out from the back, teams will stop pressing you, granting you more possession higher up the pitch. It may seem counterintuitive, but the time Arteta is spending developing Arsenal's ability to play out from goal kicks may ultimately help grant them more territory. From that point, further differences may even emerge. But already, with the work he's doing at Arsenal, Arteta is swiftly establishing his own identity. The Athletic is in-depth sports coverage that helps fans see the game from every angle. And Tifo is delighted to be able to offer full access to The Athletic now for just £1 per month. See the link in the description for details of this introductory offer. For football fans, that's access to the writing of journalists dedicated to your team, plus David Ornstein, Phil Hay, Daniel Taylor and many more. Not to mention over 400 full-time writers offering inside access and independent analysis of every team that you follow across every league that you care about. Get local expertise and unmatched league-wide perspective. The Athletics writers are in the bubble, on the field and behind the scenes as it all happens. Catch up, go deep and join the conversation on the most important happenings in sports.